There are 25 business intelligence tools in the market today. Out of those 25, there are top two leaders which are growing rapidly. The name is Tableau and Power BI. So in this video, you'll see the top 11 differences between Tableau and Power BI. Welcome everybody. My name is Pawan Lalwani and let us see those top 11 differences between these two tools. If you can visualize data better, we can take faster decisions in the company. Same way, if you have variety of options, variety of charts, you can take easily decisions. Now, Tableau supports 24 charts by default, whereas Power BI supports 30 plus charts by default. Now, if you want to go for additional charts, let's say Sunburst chart, Sankey chart, animated bar chart race, here in Tableau, it is a bit difficult. You have to write lengthy steps, write some code, and then you can get it. Whereas in Power BI, you'll get a library of 250 charts by default, where out of 250, there are some 80 charts which are absolutely free and the other charts are not free, but you get a trial version for that. So here we have approximately 250 plus 30 charts, you can say 280. Whereas in Tableau, it is 24 charts plus some few charts, but it is again difficult to decode it, right? In the company, data is spread across all the different formats, all the different data sources like Excel, CSV, SQL Server, Oracle, and so on. Tableau supports, you can fetch data from 77 plus data sources in Tableau. In Power BI, you can fetch data from 99 plus data sources. Some unique data sources which are present here and it is very, very easy. For example, you can get data from live web page, you can get data from Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on. Also some features which are present in Power BI, you can get data from your Outlook account, from your email ID. Suppose you're getting some attachments in your email, you want to append those and visualize. Power BI supports in all button clicks, no using keyboard. Whereas in Tableau, it has not that easy, you can do, but it is a bit difficult here. Okay, so Power BI has more features here. Now in the company, 70% of your time goes in data cleaning. If you're using data sources like JSON, uh, then we have Excel, you might understand the pain in cleaning the data. So 70% time goes in that. We need an ETL tool to clean this data and only then we can visualize. Tableau doesn't have inbuilt ETL tool. We have to learn a separate tool named as Tableau Prep. You have to install that tool, you know, clean data and push into Tableau desktop. Whereas in Power BI, we have an inbuilt ETL tool named as Power Query. It is very smooth, very easy to use it. Okay. People prefer going for Power Query because the age of this uh, tool is very old. It is like 10 years old in the market. Whereas Tableau Prep is hardly three years old in the market today. Okay. So people prefer going for Power Query. Next one, transition from Tableau Prep to Tableau Desktop is not that smooth. Whereas on this other case in Power BI, it is very, very smooth. More number of functions if you have, that means your work becomes very easy. For example, if you want to calculate your age, you have to write some logic, think about the code. So in Power BI, it can be done in just two button clicks. Whereas in Tableau, you have to write some code here. Let us see how many functions they both have. Tableau Desktop has by default 180 plus functions. Whereas in Power BI, there are 99 functions which you don't have to write just using button click. As I said, age can be calculated in just two button clicks. Upon that, there are 800 plus M functions. M stands for mashup, which is used in Power Query, 800 plus functions. Apart from that, we have 300 plus DAX functions, that, that is data analysis expressions. So here in Power BI, the library for functions is very huge, whereas in Tableau, it is limited to 180 plus functions. AI in BI, Artificial Intelligence in Business Intelligence. In Tableau, the scope is limited. You don't have that great feature. But in Power BI, there are five very important AI in BI features. For example, you push a clean data in Power BI and then just click on something. You'll be getting 50 different charts, which will give you the detailed analysis. Plus, if you can just type and get the charts like pie chart, donut chart, any chart by just typing it, no need to drag and drop also. So it is that simple, not a code, but the simple English plain language you can write. So AI in BI is very, very powerful in Power BI, whereas in Tableau, it is not that great. Very limited features are there. User interface. Now, one thing which I like about user interface, it is in Tableau. Tableau has a very simple and easy to use user interface. 
any person who's new to Tableau or any BI tool, he can easily understand or relate to Tableau. Whereas in Power BI, I cannot say it is very difficult, but if you compare with Tableau, it is not that easy. Another good feature in Tableau, which I can say, dashboards are very, very good in Tableau. Whereas in Power BI, they are created, but interactivity is not that great in dashboards. So mostly people who are using Power BI, they go for creating a dashboard within the report, though it is not relevant, but they create all the things in the report itself, not in the dashboard. Tableau is very good into dashboard creation. Next one is a creativity. Creativity is a place where you can show your talent in creating different visualization, presenting your data in a proper manner. So in this case, I support Tableau. Tableau has very good feature where you can write some calculations and go for creating different visualization, better visualizations, which are not supported by default. Whereas in Power BI, creativity lacks. It is there, but it is not that great as compared to Tableau. Next, about the support, if you ask me, Power BI has a very, very good support as compared to Tableau. Next. If you talk about the volume of data, if you're working in a very big organization, how much data these two tools can handle? Power BI can handle 100 terabyte of data, whereas Tableau can handle unlimited size of data. Now, the last point and the most important point that is the price, which is cheaper and which one you should go for. I'll tell you the prices of both these tools. Tableau prices $70 per user per month. In those $70, you'll be getting Tableau Desktop, Tableau Online, and Tableau Prep. That means one developer tool, one ETL tool, and one publishing tool. Whereas the Power BI, there are many versions of this, but you'll be getting this for $10 per user per month. In that, you'll be getting Power BI Desktop. Now, this Power BI Desktop is free for lifetime, no charges. The $10 which they are charging is for Power BI service account, which is used for publishing this tool. And also, if you see, there's an ETL tool which is inbuilt, which is named as Power Query. So here it is $10 per user per month, whereas in Tableau, it is $70 per user per month. So now you can compare which one is the best tool for you. I hope you like this top comparison between these two tools, which is Tableau and Power BI. If you like this, kindly spread the knowledge. If you think you need more comparison between different tools like Tableau and Power BI and you want to get some more clarity, kindly put in the comment box. I'll try to help you by creating some videos on that. Thank you and have a good day.